Hi there, this is Carmen with Carm3D.net, and I got a quickie tip for you. Well, how quick it is depends on how this thing's going to calculate, but this is related to cloth effects, and I want to show you a pre calculated cloth move. I got the cloth coming down on a ball and resting. You can, you can see the uh, self collision is causing jittering here. That's, there's no way of avoiding that other than buying c -flex or something like that. But I want you, I'm going to back up here and I want you to notice that this collision object, well actually both of these, are the primitive types. No, I'm not using any of the object's polygons for the, calcula the, the collisions. This is using uh, the sphere and this one's using the plane. But what I'm going to do is, y you, you remember the, the old cal calculation, it just fell down and rested. Now look what look what's happening. Actually I let the cat out of the bag too early. The collision object is spinning, but you can see it's having very little effect. Actually it seems like it's having no effect on the cloth. So I'm going to change this from the sphere to object. And now let's calculate again and see what happens. Actually this might be a little high. Calculate. And look at that, the spin is clearly having an effect on the cloth. So the whole point of this little video is basically while these primitive collision objects save calculation time, they may not get you exactly what you need if friction related things are important to you. So just keep that in mind. Take it easy.